Welcome to Looptopia, where we're building our own utopian homestead. Today I'm going to talk to you about wheel hose and show you what they do. If you're worried about, you know, things getting very expensive with gas and you're worried that, yeah, if I buy an electronic rototiller or tool, eventually the batteries are going to die. So the smartest thing to, is to go old school when everything was hand done and you could kind of repair and, and fix what you need. And I'm going to show you what wheel hose are. I'm going to give you five reasons you need a wheel hoe. Number one is it works without electricity or gas, which is going to be important coming up. Number two, it saves you a bunch of money and it can save you money by letting you use the ground you have and you can either add amendments or just simply use the soil you have because what's happened is uh, YouTube has created this thing that you have to have raised beds and you have to have these fancy gardens to grow food. Wheel hose go back to the old school row gardening that people use when times are tough and there's survival situations and you don't have, you know, thousands of dollars to build beds and fill them up with dirt and everything else. Number three, it's way, way faster than any other manual tools I've ever used. Like trying to do a garden with rows with just a hoe and a shovel takes forever. The wheel hose probably, I would say, three to five times faster than anything you could do by hand. Four, they're really well built. And especially if you get an antique one, those the metal they use back then is incredible and they'll probably never break. If you're getting a new one, there's a company named Haas that makes them. And uh, if you can afford it, they make a quality one. Number five is they're good at separating things in the soil. So as you're going over it, it'll actually pull out large rocks and pieces of wood that you don't want. And it's just like a nice bonus. So this is the first wheel hoe we're going to use. This is homemade from a kit called a whiz bang wheel hose. And um, basically they send you the metal parts and then you got to build the wood and the wheels and the bolts and stuff. And this was customized. It's not exactly whiz bang. We put extra wood in. My buddy down the street's a woodworker and he made these handles for me. But they're oak and they're wonderful. So this is a light wheel hoe um, compared to other wheel hoes. It's small, but what it mainly does is tear weeds out of the ground that are really stubborn. It's awesome at it. So remember, this is homemade out of a piece of steel and we sanded it down and stuff. But I ordered this part because it's hard to make. And it's spring steel, the blade. It's called an oscillating blade because it rocks back and forth. So when you push it one way, it cuts. And then when you push it the other way, on the way back, it cuts. It's an oscillating blade. It's awesome. It's been really cool. All right, so this is a revived Planet Junior high arch old school hoe. This hoe's over, it's probably about 100 years old. I think I, it was close to 1920, 1930 model. They stopped making these years and years ago, but I bought the this on eBay and re-brought it back to life and had my buddy make a handle for it. And they have what's called a pistol grip handle. And this is a more heavy duty one that it has an arch so you can like put corn in the middle or potatoes or whatever and, and work around without hitting things that are growing. I'll show you how this works a little bit. So what's cool about the old Planet, Jun uh, it's called Planet Junior, um, is you can see how old these are. They actually have the square bolts, but you have slots that you can put different accessories in. So the teeth here are good for breaking up compacted soil. Um, the teeth can do some weeding. They're okay at minor weeding, but what I'm actually going to use them for today is to mix soils together. I'm going to put some sand on top of my topsoil just to clay and sand like a sandy loam, just to add some more into my soil and mix a little different mix. These are called sweeps, so they would go on as blades and you can turn them either direction, but mainly they work best one direction and they are to hill stuff. The sweeps also are good for cutting, uh, you know, you can do like a grass that's not too tough. But when we're looking at stuff like bunch grass like this that is really hard to get out, we got to use the other hoe. That one rocks and it's, that's what it's made for. Lastly, this attachment is to make a, a furrow. So it's, it's going to make a kind of a long ditch so you can plant seeds or potatoes and stuff like that. So all these were antique stuff that we had to restore and bring it back to life but I'm really glad to see it back in action. You'll love uh, your wheel hoe. 
Okay, so this is how the weeding wheel hoe works. And what you're doing is you can either just kind of get a little under or you can actually take a slab up if it's really, really deep stuff. It's so fast compared to a regular hoe. You can really, I mean, that would have taken me probably a good minute with a hoe. And that took five seconds with this. So it is just an awesome tool for off-grid, for, you know, uh, weed control. And what I'll do is, this is a patch we're growing in, and what we'll do is we will keep about a foot of this clear. And every two weeks, you'll just go over this real quick, and it'll keep all the weeds from encroaching. That's it. When you get real smart, you use child labor to use your... <laughs> Hey, building muscles, go on. Damn child labor laws! <laughs> we had good composted soil that we put about two to three inches of loamy clay to give us some minerals and some uh, water absorption. And this is the way we just put it together. So you just grind it through and it mixes it all together for you. And you can do this really fast with a wheel hoe. And what I'll do is I'll take a couple passes and grind this up until everything's ready, nice and smooth. Lastly, don't forget that YouTube completely censors my channel and blacklisted. I have 100,000 subscribers and I maybe get 100 views. Um, YouTube hates this, and so we've been moving off YouTube. And I put way more stories over on Odyssey and Brighton. I think probably for every one story I do over here on YouTube, I'm putting five over there. So just follow the links below and you can get a lot of the stories of the stuff that is uncensored that we can't say here. So I hope you come over. Also, there is a coupon code if you go over to Odyssey and you can get free crypto. So follow that code. The other thing is, you know, we are homesteading in South Carolina. If you are looking for a homestead because you think, uh, you know, the society's starting to go in a very bad place and you don't have a place to go and you, ours, ours is more spiritual based in, in vegan homestead. We don't do livestock out here. If that's your vibe, contact us on our Telegram group and feel free to chit chat and uh, we'll see if we can arrange a, a visit. Come on out and check us out.